Reality al Mahdi, this channel is red light. Enjoy the blessed words of the well guided Imam here on Reality al Mahdi. Now, regarding Bunny Adam, because if you go to the world Ghaib, they define Bunny Adam, how God organized Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam to Prophet Sisa until completing the prophets. They mentioned the word Bani Adam, but they also mentioned people who don't come from Bani Adam, as they are called Nuru Muhammad. Mawlai Shah Ahmed Tijan uses those terms. If you ask for Bani Adam, they will point them out to you. But if you ask for Nuru Muhammad, Ghaib will reply with Waminka. It includes everyone who comes from Nuru Muhammad. If you mention Wamin Nuhin, then you are referring back to Bani Adam. Ghaib specifies these two groups to differentiate the Prophet peace be upon him and his reality of prophecy, that is to say his reality of Nubuwa. Ghaib also talks about humans and their spiritual formation to confirm what Allah said in the Quran. لا يكلف الله النفس إلا هساها as humans cannot handle everything. يوم لا تملك نفس للنفس شيئا والأمر يوم إذن لله Humans can sometimes be afraid. But Nuru Muhammad are guaranteed. They are part of the Mirul Kauna, the hidden side. And when they speak, it's وما ينتهو أن الهوى إن هو إلا وحين يوحى There's a difference between someone who speaks from the Wahyu or Nubuwa, and the one who gets all his knowledge from the books. This comparison is the relationship between Bani Adam and Nuru Muhammad. This is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told the Prophet peace be upon him to never speak from book knowledge because the information he receives from the Wahyu is far more superior. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took it even further to let everyone know that he is a Nabi al-Ummi. Meaning the Prophet peace be upon him is unable to read. He didn't learn from the text. And the fact that he is a Nabi al-Ummi simply means he doesn't need to learn from a teacher. When Allah once told the Prophet to recite the Quran in front of Ubay ibn Kaf, the people were confused. Because since God already pronounced the Prophet was a Nabi al-Ummi, they thought he wasn't able to teach the Quran. During that time, the Prophet knew what was going through their mind and told them, I demanded my Lord a favor. I asked him to allow some similarities between us, so you can understand me. Because if you think I'm someone who doesn't forget, or I live a different life apart from the rest, then you wouldn't be able to understand me. And for the success of this mission, you must understand each other. Allah granted the Prophet's request. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَّا بَشْرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ But still referring to Nuru Muhammad, يُوحَى إِلَيَّ The Prophet looks just like you. Understand him. He behaves just like you. But he holds a prophecy. قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَنَّا بَشْرٌ مِثْلُكُمْ يُوحَى إِلَيَّ As you can see, this is the relationship between Nuru Muhammad and Bani Adam. Now if this Nuru Muhammad, Mawlai Shih Ahmad Tijani Sharif extracted the haqiqah and incorporated his qadmiyah inside. Shaykh Tijani Sharif is not part of Bani Adam. This is why, this is why Sirin Baba Karsi is very amazing. When he wanted to let people know that Mawlai Shih Ahmad Tijani is not included in Bani Adam, he said, خُرْبُ الْوُجُودِ اللَّذِي أَبْدَى وِلَايَتَهُ as he is part of Nuru Muhammad. Mawlai Shah Ahmadi Tijani Sharif brought out his light with this Nuru Muhammad, uses the wahi when speaking, and all realities from the heavens emanating from Salatul Fatiha and Jawharatul Kamal are pleased with it. But now in these dark times, Ghaib are afraid that people won't know the existence of Nuru Muhammad. Mawlai Shah Ahmad Tijani answers them that the people will know about Nuru Muhammad until the end times. Thanks to this chant.
The revolution of lights with the one and only Imam al-Mahdi al-Muntazar.